Welcome back. Now, the Gadget Show studio is the tensest it's ever been. That's because we're about to reach the nail-biting climax of this week's challenge. Let's recap what's happened so far. Jason and Susie have spent the last few weeks designing their own gadgets. They've had a bit of help, but they were essentially their own ideas. Right now, though, it's time to find out who did the best job. They're both here with their gadgets, and quite honestly, none of us know which one's going to come out on top. Susie, remind us what yours is all about. Uh, well, I've got the benchmark for the next generation of compact digital camera with this gorgeous little rollout screen. Ooh. Ooh. Jason, yours? Uh, John, mine's called the US Badge. It's a USB memory stick. It's wearable storage in a badge. Right, let's get on with it. First up, I took both of the gadgets out onto the streets to do a bit of market research. We asked 50 people in Birmingham what they thought of the gadgets and which one they'd buy. USB stick, the camera. Camera, USB stick. And the results really were pretty conclusive because out of the 50 people, 40 voted for Susie's camera. Oh, yes! Don't celebrate just yet. Oh, hold it, hold it. Because next we sent both of your gadgets, complete with a full spec and a dummy press release, to one of the most important most powerful people in the whole of the British gadget industry. Jeremy Fennell is product buyer for the Dixon Stores Group that includes PC World and Curry's. They're market leaders with eight billion pounds of turnover and Jeremy's responsible for what gets stocked in the stores. Now, Jeremy was really enthusiastic. He actually said he'd stock both gadgets. No. Really? And of Susie's <laughs> camera, he said, if it existed, would completely reinvigorate the market and be completely unique. However, he did sound a note of caution. He said it's a very futuristic concept and the cost of the new technologies may price it out of the market. Oh, small print. So, <laughs> Jason, though, your designs he absolutely loved. He said, it's really? great idea, really had legs. He could see them selling lots and lots of your badges. So, overall, yours just has the edge. Which means it's one all, which also means that the final decision rests with one of the leading names in world design. I'd like you to meet... Dick Powell. Dick is from Seymour Powell. They designed the world's first pocketable mobile phone and the first hydrogen fuel cell motorcycle. Now, he's already seen both of your designs, yep. but uh, I think he needs a, an extra brief, starting with you, Susie. No pressure, then. Not at all. <laughs> go give us the cell. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, Dick, as you know, I wanted to design a camera that was very different, cutting edge with all the technology. So I came up with this wireless technology, of course, to uh, load your pictures onto your computer, and also inductive charging, because I hate all the little kind of rubbery yeah, ports yeah, that you've got, them. and yeah. I can't bear wires. Yeah. So we've got this beautiful, sleek camera here. We've got a pull-out OLED flexible screen, wow. which doubles up as your viewfinder and your control panel. It's touch screen. But what about this? A little projector to the size of 60 inches that you can just click on the wall and say, look, here's the shot I just took. There you go. It, it's, it's almost a piece of glamour. So for a woman, it could be resembling a, a lipstick canister mm. or something, you know, makeup case. But I wanted it to be for guys as well. So I wanted it to be quite funky and cool. Mm. Um, so I, I think it's managed to do that with the fact that it's black and silver. And then you've just got this gadget show blue that we use. I think that's sort of that ultraviolet blue. It's, it's very blue. cool, yeah. <laughs> it's your turn. How am I going to follow that? <laughs> Come on. OK. Hi, Dick. Right. Look, look. As I sit, I know what you're thinking. Jace, nice badge. But it's not just a badge, it's a wearable storage device. A better example is another design that we've done, uh, where his head comes out, so it's actually okay. part of the device. So that's a, yeah. a working one gig memory stick right there, if you want to just grab it. God, it's tiny, isn't it? And yeah. the concept yeah. is to try and capture some of that sort of wearable vinyl toy market. OK, got it. Right, Dick. Decision time. What I'd like to do is actually give us a brief summary of what you think of each product, and most importantly, which one you think's best. OK, well, I think they're both brilliant, actually. They're two different things. This is very much a toy, collectible sort of a thing, but it's an interesting product. What we have over there with Susie's camera, it's something that's been very professionally done, so it's extremely credible. It brings together a lot of new technologies, which are just around the corner. What you've done is you've managed to wrap them all up in a really compelling product, so definitely I choose this. Yay! Yay. Thank you very much. Oh, brilliant. Want to patent it? <laughs> right, yeah, oh, absolutely. Look. Get those patents no, in right stop, now. Stop looking at my camera too close. Um, and on that fabulous note for me, um, it's the end of the show. Thank you very much for your help, and uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>